Now, on to Doppler testing. Doppler testing is slightly more complicated because we're measuring dynamic changes, and so you can't use a static model. There are two common types of Doppler test objects. String testers, which basically involves putting a string on a pulley and connecting it to a motor, and flow phantoms, which are more complicated and involve pumping fluid through a tube placed within ultrasound phantom gel. The string tester consists of a string placed around two pulleys, attached to a motor, and placed in a water bath. The string is echogenic, so you can see it on the image. The motor can move the string at any specific velocity, so we can evaluate how accurate the Doppler on this machine is. Another nice thing is that the target is a thin string. Because of this, it's also useful to evaluate the lateral and axial resolution of the probe in Doppler mode, for the same reason that small targets are useful for determining resolution in B mode. You can measure the lateral and axial resolution the exact same way that you do in B mode. You would take the color patch of the Doppler and measure it in the axial and in the lateral directions. This can also measure how accurate your placement for Doppler gating is on the screen when we're looking at spectral Doppler. A flow phantom consists of a hollow tube in a tissue mimicking gel material connected to a pump. This is more complicated, harder to maintain, less precise, and more expensive than a string tester. Now all that might lead you to ask, why would we use this? And the answer is that it's a much more real-world test of Doppler. Normally you're not looking for the velocity of a string. You're looking for the velocity of fluid in a tube when you use Doppler. So what do we measure using these Doppler testers or Doppler phantoms? Well, one thing we measure is the maximum depth at which we can still meaningfully measure spectral Doppler signals. Basically here you vary the depth of your string tester or your flow tube and see how far down you can go before you lose your signal. We also want to know pulsed Doppler sample volume alignment, which is just a whole lot of words for saying we want to make sure that the position of the Doppler gate on the screen is the same position that we are measuring when we display the spectral Doppler. We also want to measure velocity accuracy, which is easily done with a string tester and can be done with a flow tester. You basically set a specific velocity, a known velocity on your tester or phantom, and then measure your velocity to see how close you are with your ultrasound machine. Finally, we want to measure image congruency, which is kind of similar to gate position accuracy, but with respect to color Doppler. Does the color patch you see on the image actually overlay the anechoic vessel on the screen? It's important at this point to note that if you plan on taking the ARDMS SPI exam, you'll also be tested on basic statistical concepts that are used elsewhere within medicine, including sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive value, and the difference between precision and accuracy. These concepts will not be covered here, as they are generally considered very thoroughly elsewhere within the medical school curriculum. Let's do a few practice questions. Number one, what is dead space? Is it A, the distance from the transducer to the first resolvable target? B, the distance of after which color Doppler does not penetrate? C, the distance at which the ultrasound signal is the same strength as the electronic noise? Or D, the signal obtained in Doppler imaging at 90 degrees to the structure of interest. You may pause the video now to decide on your answer. The answer is A. Dead space is the distance from the transducer to the first resolvable target. Question number two. What is a string phantom used to test? Is it A? Axial resolution, B, Doppler velocity accuracy, or C, uniformity. You may pause the video now to decide on your answer. 
The answer is B, Doppler velocity accuracy. Finally, question number three. What is used to test axial resolution in pulse echo, not Doppler, applications? Is it A, a tissue phantom with artificial hyperechoic lesions? B, a tissue phantom with small, discrete targets along a vertical axis spaced at least one centimeter apart? C, a tissue phantom with small, discrete targets placed at varying small distances away from each other, or D, a string tester. You may pause the video now to decide on your answer. The answer is C, a tissue phantom with small, discrete targets placed varying small distances away from one another. 